Right, hey everyone, so in this video we're going to create the Zami style beam like the one shown here in this image. So to get started, let's model our beam. Press shift A and we'll add in a cylinder. And let's rotate it on the X axis by 90 degrees. Control A to apply the rotation. Now let's go to edit mode our shape let's grab these vertices and grab on the little bit more all right that's how long our beam is going to be now let's extrude on the y-axis Make this front part of the beam. Okay. And then we're going to press I to set the face. Okay. And let's grab this Y flat up. Should be good. Now let's make it more round. So we're going to control R to add in foot here. And over here, three is good enough. Let's turn on proportional editing and scale it up. Scale. Right around here is good. Scale here too. And this part, we have to scale this part down. That looks about right. And maybe let's put that point. Back in. All right, that looks good. And let's control R to add in some more cuts here. Geometry. Actually, that's be the base of our geometry for our beam. And the last thing we do is right click and check say it's smooth. All right, so now we can go on to our shader. Editing tab. All right, so here we are on a shading editing tab, and so let's make a new material. Name this one beam. Same. Let's delete the principal PSDF. Then we're gonna do Shift A and add in a layer weight. Let's see what this looks like. So we're gonna use the facing. So this is gonna be our colors. Oh, how? We want our color to be so the black part is going to be the inside and the white part is going to be the outside blue. We can change the blend, increase it to we want the outline to be that's good enough. All right, now to work to control it more, let's add in a color ramp between. Now we can move the black and see get more of the part here. And then the white part would just make them more the outline. More soft and more hard. Alright, so let's put some colors in. Um let's change the so the white outline is this dark area. So let's use this blue. And 
and then the white here, white blue. Then we're gonna need another one, white area in the middle. Okay, so that's our colors. All right, so the other thing that we can do is uh, make the lines where you can simulate that it's moving. So I have another picture here where when the beam's shooting, you have these lines to simulate that it's flowing. So in order to do that, let's add in a drawing or texture and a mapping node and a texture coordinate node. Connect generated to vector and a vector to to here and then see this this is going to be our lines that we're going to use let's put this through a color ramp set this to constant other lines and this is going to be our spot right now to just circle so we want to stretch this out to become lines so let's on the y-axis let's scale it down on there, we have more lines. We increase the scale of the board itself. Very good. Now, if you rotate its rotation, it will seem like it's flowing forward. All right, so now let's uh, combine the two using a mix RGB. And we're going to put this one into the factor and we're going to put color color one Set this to multiply we just have to choose the color of the lines that we want so let's make it a light blue color Move it. Okay. And then so the last thing we can do is um, add an emission shader to make turn the brightness. Let's put an emission shader. Then we can change the strength to like two to make it brighter. Okay, that's pretty much it for the nodes, the shader nodes. All right, so the next thing we can do is um, manipulate the mesh itself to make it look like it's moving. So we can add in uh, the place modifiers on our cylinder to simulate that movement. So in our modifiers tab, we go to displace on the deform. And let's make a new texture, call it beam, and let's click this to go to our tab, and let's use magic. I found magic to be most not better for this. And we can decrease it. Three point five. So now it's in right now it's in open space the coordinates. So let's change this to an object. Let's add in it empty as our object. Empty. Or empty. Two. So now when we move our empty, the meshes. Displace. All right. Now we can animate this by going to our rotation by or 
or empty. Better. And we can use a driver. Frame five. This be good. This you can fit. We can also do the same thing with our ordinary texture here. Here the exploitation, same thing. As that frame five. And moving. Maybe this is too short. No better. Alright, the other thing that we can do is uh, make these spikes here on the edge here. So in order to do that is let's go to edit mode and choose these vertices. Choose uh, these vertices. Go to our data properties and add a new vertex group and click assign. Now that if it's assigned, assigned, right? So now we can add in a other modifier. Duplicate this one. So this one we're going to search so our group that we just made. And instead of the direction to normal, we can use the Y. And we can increase this. Okay. Now when you play it, you have this. And this is pretty much it. Uh, do some more tweaking here, maybe scale this part bigger. So, bigger. But this is the, just the idea. Uh, I hope this was helpful for you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.